We ventured into the mission without any funds. However, we had the power of an idea and that was to build a community of concerned scholars and activists for ushering in a humane and just society. The 35 years journey of the Institute was challenging and exciting. Within a few years, appreciating its research, studies and contribution to social thinking and action, the Delhi Development Authority, DDA, allotted land for the Institute on the prestigious institutional area on the Nelson Mandela Road. The Vice President of India, Sri K. R. Narayanan, laid the foundation stone of the building on 7 October 1994 in the presence of leaders like George Fernandez, A.K. Antony, Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, P.K. Dawe, and many other academic scholars and activists. It was possible because of the financial support received from many states including Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Punjab, Jammu and Kashmir, West Bengal, and several international agencies as well. The Institute's work has had a significant positive impact in both the domains of policy making and socio-political processes in general, both nationally, of course, and also internationally. I would particularly emphasize policy making as in the areas of um, uh, the municipalities and uh, uh, panchayats where it affected the uh, constitutional amendments in 1993 in uh, reforms in the domain, as I said, of the panchayats and so on. Uh, Institute's work has forwarded reform in women's movements as well as in social empowerment in general. Based on a true story from Madurai, the institute produced a film. The film name was Swaraj, the Little Republic, which won the gold medal for the best film on social issues in 2002 for its strong depiction of women's empowerment in rural India. I had the honor of receiving the award from the President of India at the National Film Award Ceremony in New Delhi on 29 December 2003. We were very privileged to have eminent scholars and public intellectuals like Professor D.T. Lakrawala, Professor Sapalli Gopal, Dr. Malcolm Madhisushaya, Professor Yuar Ananta Murthy as our chairpersons. Our distinguished visiting lecturers include Professor Amartya Sen, Mahabubul Haq, Anthony Giddens, Bikho Parik, Helen Clark, Susan and Lloyd Rudolph, and many others from all over the world. Now the Institute of Social Sciences is internationally recognized for its role as a think tank, resource center, and clearinghouse of information on federalism, local governance, and participatory democracy. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam in 2010 gave a mission to our institute to undertake, I quote, Pura, that is, provision of urban amenities in rural areas of India. In order to take forward the Institute's vision and mission as an independent think tank, we in this 35th year aim to raise 15 crores rupees to continue 
its effective functioning based on our much acclaimed foundation principle that is integrating research with action your contribution for the institute of social sciences will be a long standing investment for evolving a humane and just society in the years to come we will greatly appreciate your help and support